Hey, what's up? Todd from Shutterstock, and today I'm gonna show you how to add some free distress textures to your videos and motion graphic design. So we recently released a free pack of 50 handcrafted distress textures. We created these in-house and scanned them at very high quality. They're available in both PNG and JPEG formats, and you can use these to add some really nice detail and texture to your graphics and your videos. Now these textures are great for graphic design, so if you wanna use them in Illustrator or Photoshop, we have a video about that too, just click the link. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use these textures in Premiere Pro, Final Cut, and After Effects in that order. Let's get started. Okay, so to start, let's head over to the Shutterstock blog, and we're gonna click on this free downloads button right here, and there we're going to find the 50 free distressed textures for designers. So click on that and go ahead and click the download button and get those free assets. And let's go ahead and get started in Premiere. So if you open up the download here, what you'll see is you have JPEG options and transparent PNG options. So I'm gonna go ahead and opt to use the transparent PNG options here in Premiere. So what I've got here is just our little red background and I'm just going to make a simple graphic using the Shutterstock logo. So I'm going to drag the Shutterstock logo down here to my sequence and it's a little too big so we're gonna click on it and we're going to scale it down. Now this is very important. Anytime that you bring in a logo element or like an Illustrator file or anything like that into Premiere, once you have it to the size that you like, I usually go ahead and right click and nest it. And that just saves us some headaches later on and I'll explain that in a minute. So I find it's easier to look through these textures in the finder window as opposed to in Premiere because usually it just shows you on a black background so you can't really see what they look like. I like this one right here. To me it's nice and subtle. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in and you can actually just drag it straight into your timeline. And so now here we go. You can see we have this, these black little dots all over and I'm just gonna get them into position for where I like them for this particular design. So I'm gonna scale them to something like that and just sort of position them over the text the way that I like. And let's just go ahead and rotate as well. And let's just kind of bring it down and just fine tune until you get something that kind of seems like what you want. Now, obviously, we're not really using these textures how I would want to use them right now. You're going to use a effect called track mat. So go over here to the effects panel and type in track mat key. And right here, you see this little effect and we'll just drag that to the logo layer. Okay, so you'll drop it on whatever layer you want to be uh, cutting out using one of these elements. And so now we have track mat key on our logo layer and right here for mat on this dropdown, you always wanna select the video layer that has the mat layer that you wanna use. And as you can see, the distress texture is on video layer three. So with this selected, I'm gonna to go to the effect controls and on this dropdown, I'm gonna select video three. Okay, so now you can kind of see what it's doing. So we've really cut out the Shutterstock logo using that element and it's almost invisible now. And that's probably not what we want right now, but we can easily just select the reverse button right here. So now you can see we're getting this really subtle kind of look here and it's really starting to give a little bit of texture to this logo. And real quick to show you how to use these elements with Final Cut, let's say you wanted to add some texture to this text element right here. All you have to do is take one of the textures from this freebie pack and put it on the layer right above the text element or the video element itself. And then you can go up to this compositing tab up here and select Silhouette Alpha. And once you do that, it's gonna use the alpha channel of that texture freebie element to cut out and create a new alpha channel for anything that is below it. And then from there, you can select all of your layers and right click and select compound clip. And now you have that as a self-contained element that you can throw into your videos wherever you want. All right, so here we are in After Effects now. I've set up this little animation here and I'm not gonna show you how to do that. That's another tutorial for another day, but I am gonna show you how if I have these elements and I just wanna add some really nice, subtle distress textures to them, how to do that 
using this freebie pack. So once again, we're gonna hop into the PNG folder from the Distress Texture freebie, and I'm just gonna kinda look around and see if I can find one that I like. And I think for this graphic, this one is going to be perfect. So I'm gonna drag that in, and we're just gonna go ahead and put it down into our scene. One layer above the pre-comp that has our text animation on it. So to be able to kind of see it better and gauge sort of what I'm doing, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Effect, Generate, and Fill. And right there you see it's just turned the element red. And I'm just gonna leave it that way for now. We're gonna turn it back here in a second. So I'm just gonna scale that down. And what we're doing again is just trying to find sort of the best way to position this element so that it's making the right kind of impact on our graphics. So if you think about it with what we're doing, everything that's red is going to become a transparent part of the logo. So right about there, I think, is about what I wanna go for. So now I'm gonna go ahead and with our layer selected, we're gonna go up to the effect controls panel and let's just delete that fill out of there. So what I'm gonna do is with our text element selected here, this one right here, this little distressed text animation selected, I'm gonna go right here to this thing that says track mat. And right here, there's a little drop down. We're gonna drop that down and we're gonna select alpha mat. Now, obviously that is way too extreme, but that is one way that you could use it if you wanted to. But I'm gonna actually go for alpha mat inverted. And so right there you can see, now we've got a really nice looking texture. Now, another thing that we need to go ahead and make sure that we remember to do, because in this particular example, I have a 3D scene. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this object 3D and we're gonna go ahead and parent it to that text object because I want everything that moves with that text object to move with the distressed texture as well. So let's see what we have now. So those are just a few really quick and subtle ways to use these texture elements. So look through them all, check them out, give them a shot. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time.